I, I just, I, oh man, I've lost my best friend and I don't know what to do anymore at this point. Like, Okay, so YouTube finally got me for my intro song, so y'all are just gonna have to enjoy me talk. You are my African queen, mm. the girl of my dreams. You take me where I've never been. You make me hungry. Dang, I'm, 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 did I even say that right? You know what? All right, I have one job. Hit that bell. I'm watching. What's up, gang? Before we get into this video, make sure you guys go tap in with my Instagram, repost this video, and tag me, and I got you with a shout out. Also, I know y'all peep that PO box sitting there in that bio. Don't be afraid to send me stuff, and I'm gonna review it. I'm gonna post you. I'm gonna shout you out. Now, let's get into this banger video. Yeah. What's up, everybody? If you're new, welcome. If you're all welcome back to my channel, I'm Jerry, and you're watching. Life with Jerry, and I'm back again with another bu 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 banger. What's up, y'all? Um, so I just want to sit down and talk to you guys. My feelings are genuinely so freaking hurt right now. Like I'm so I'm so drained. I'm so fucking tired. I just I I'm trying to get my thoughts together. I'm trying to make sure I don't get emotional because I can't believe I was. Not only tried the way I was tried, but I can't believe shit went the way it went when all I was trying to do was literally put an end to this bullshit. Literally. Who I'm getting so mad. I'm getting so I'm just getting I have so many emotions going through me right now. Okay, so if you guys saw my last video, you saw that I went I came home with the full intentions of making everything better. I came home with the intentions of apologizing, sitting Telly down, having a real conversation with her and just talking about everything that's been going on and her hear her side, like face to face, hear her side, not her by herself with her camera, like face to face. Obviously camera's on because this is a journey at this point. Like it already been brought to social media. We can't just have a closure without you guys in on it, if that makes sense. So obviously, yes, I'm recording. Um, so have a sit down, you know, talk face to face, woman to woman, instead of through social media, through YouTube, through the cameras, like I'm doing now by myself. You get what I'm saying? I actually have her with me. So I come home and this was after I had already had this talk with my mom two videos ago. I had a long, long talk with my mom. She told me to just come home, be the bigger person and choose, basically choose my friendship over my pride. So... I decided to take her advice. I decided to go with what she said. I decided to be the bigger person, come home, drive all the way home from my mom's house, which is two and a half hours, come here and just try to talk to Telly. I know I said I was moving out and things like that, but the situation isn't that massive, you know? Like it seemed like it was that big because everything was happening so fast and getting so blown up over social media. I needed time to really clear my head and realize like okay we're both in the wrong here whether i'm at fault less or she's at fault more or i'm more at fault whoever's more at fault doesn't matter at the end of the day what matters is we're both we're at we both were at fault and so i came home with the intention of trying to talk to her trying to see if we could have a woman to woman conversation and just really just talk about everything and it didn't go that way. Like, it, it literally, I can't even, oh my God. I literally, like I'm getting so upset because I know, I know I came here. Oh my God, I don't even wanna freaking do this. Like, I don't, crying on camera is so fucking trash, bro. Like. But it just hurts. Like, my heart is hurt. Like, my fucking feelings are hurt. Like, it really got to that point. Like, she put her hands on me, y'all. She put, she put her hands on me. Like, what the fuck did I do wrong? Literally. Like, any other time, I would have, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, you know, stood up for myself and really, like, you know, fought back. Or whatever the case may be. But... 
like that's that was my best friend at one point like I'm not even on that type of time no more like I'm not that mad I'm not that upset like my mind is clear you guys you like you have to see it from the point of I'm coming into things with a clear mind I'm coming into things like not even feeling heated no more like I I like my eyes are open, basically. I'm ready to hear both sides, see where she's coming from. But no, it went too far this time. Like, she pulled the fuck out of my hair. Luckily, she didn't keep hitting me because honestly, I would have been forced to fight back because I'm not no bitch at the end of the day. But she pulled the fuck out of my hair. Like, I just can't believe it got to that point. Like, I just, I can't, oh my God, I can't believe this has gotten this deep. Like, like, I, I just, I, oh man, I don't even want to do this crying shit on camera. Like, I fucking all, like, bro, I just, I can't, I can't believe, I can't believe things got to this point. Like, this is really fucking great. Like, I'm done. This is too much. I can't do this. I can't believe it. It's gotten to where it's gotten to, like, it's gotten physical at this point. And being on the other end of the stick where my mind is clear, the end of, like, seeing that my head is clear and just seeing things from this point, like, with, with a clear mind, is just, it's, it's just sad to know that it's gotten to this point. And basically, I've lost my best friend, and I don't know what to do anymore at this point. Like, all I wanted to do, all I wanted to freaking do was go home. And and just apologize and I, I can't do this.